Hi, I'm Billy Maddox and I'm gonna mess this up so that you don't have to. Hello. Oh, so it all started with an exchange on the black market. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got a NeoPixel Saber. I've, I've had one for a while and uh, I need a blade plug for it. So I got a little kit online. Uh, what is it from the custom saber shop and another place you can find it just search for like uh, neopixel pcb for a blade plug so first i've got this blade plug here and i just popped out this like you know aluminum here but i need to make some room for the uh shaver blade guard that i'm gonna use as the actual um, blade plug here you can see it here but i need to make some room for it because these walls are too thick so <laughs> i've got to like file down a little bit uh when you're doing this do it you know do it slow try to spin around the the blade plug so you're you're making sure that you uh get it all nice and even let's go ahead and ignite this again look at this smooth swing oh i'm in love with it So um, <laughs> now that I've got it down to shape and it's sort of tension fit, I am going to glue it in, but um, now that it's sort of tension fit, here I have this uh, little adapter for the bottom part of it from the custom saber shop. And then the little um, the NeoPixel little PCB with the um, LEDs on them so that it lights up, you know, just snaps right in here at the bottom and everything does tension fit but i am gonna glue them in place the last thing you want is any play between your pins in your uh your neopixel setup it can arc and it will fry your board so i want to make sure everything is nice and secure so this is sort of what it's gonna look like this is all just a tension fit a little dry fit, if you will. Let's, let's ignite it again. Let's just do another little ignition here. Man, I just love this. Look at this, look at this. It looks like a real saver, look at this. Oh God. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, hot glue time. I'm going to put this crystal that I have. I think it's a citrine crystal. I wanted a yellow one. I'm not sure why, but um, I did want a yellow one. <laughs> Um, so I've had this for a while and I have two of them actually I have another one that's like a nicer one that I want to use in something that's a bit more visible but this for all intents and purposes is for me only because you're not really going to be able to see it you're not going to be able to see it while the blade plug is out because the blade plug is a bit cloudy so you're not going to be able to see it and you're definitely not going to be able to see it when the blade plug is in which is usually where it's going to be um so this is kind of just for me um i've done this in the past as well and it's something that's not seen but it's something that i know is there and i kind of just want to know that it's there i want a crystal in my saber <laughs> anything to get me a bit more in universe so we're hot gluing this uh crystal on here and i did luck out that my hot glue kind of um dries almost the same color so it's undiscernible but again you're not going to be able to see it so this little unit is now all set and done i'm just gonna Tension fit it again, a little dry fit. And then let's let's check out some colors on this, man. Look at this. Damn, this shit looks good. Now I did try to sort of um, make this a bit more clear. I did have to sand down the outside of it as well because it was a bit too tight for, for my saber, so I needed to shave off like like a millimeter maybe even less what's less than a millimeter i don't know um a very very tiny amount so it did get sort of cloudy it was clear to start but it isn't anymore i tried to do a bit of wet sanding with some 2000 working up to 2000 grit um but it didn't really work 
I even tried to use some polishing compound to see if I can get it back clear, but it didn't really work. But again, this is just for me. So here we are gluing in this top with the beard shaver guard, <laughs> as you'll see there on the sort of top left of my cutting mat. I've got a bunch of these that I bought. I don't use the blades, I just use the blade guards, which is like an old school sort of blade plug kind of uh, workaround, kind of DIY sort of thing. It's known in the, in the Sabre community and I, I really like the look of it. So that's glued into place now. And we've got the bottom glued into place. And now I'm just gonna add a tiny bead of glue all the way around so that I can secure the, the uh, PCB in. I just like saying PCB. <laughs> the little PCB unit with the LEDs. Now that will be secured. Again, the last thing you want is that thing moving on you in your saber, because if it arcs, it will fry your board. So now everything's glued up into place. You can kind of see the crystal, you see? Kind of see it there. And let's ignite one more time. Man, I love this. So here it is in. Here's the uh, the blade plug in. Like you see, it's it's mostly it is mostly hidden. So that crystal wasn't going to be seen anyway. But I know it's in there, and that's really why I wanted to do it. Ah, smooth swing. I swear I'll never go back. I'm gonna do a video sort of reviewing this this saber but it's ah, it's so good it's an electrum if you don't know already but yeah but anyway that's pretty much it just a quick and easy little build for me this week um a little indoor project um but that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching roll the thing